Yes, thank you very much, Katleho and uh, Roderick McKay on the keys, of course. What a beautiful, spirited performance on this Tuesday morning here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's certainly a dedication, uh, I believe, uh, for uh, Ubabuk um, no. Kaunda Ntuja, who passed away, one of the most iconic commentators of our time. Uh, over you, to you, uh, Graham and Katleho. Uh, uh, first of all, that was beautiful, man. Thank you so much. It really was lovely. I, I've been just poring over the the amounts of comments and dedications coming through for Kaunda, and we thought we'd focus on this one in particular, which really does hit home, coming from his wife, Aviwe. And she said, I carry your heart with you, with me, my love. Thank you for loving us unconditionally. Many knew the man, but I was granted the privilege of knowing you as Kaunda, my soulmate, for the last 10 years. Rest, my angel, you have left your mark in the hearts and minds of so many. They're pictured with this beautiful daughter. Um, and one can only just you know, barely, scarcely imagine the pain that the family must be, be going through. But he was a man who knew how to celebrate life yeah. and celebrate rugby. Absolutely. At 38 years old, he's left us. But he certainly left us with memories that will last us a lifetime and some of which we're about to relive right now. Take a look at this. Oh. oh, come on! Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Oh, that bubble. Beautiful, so, um, beautiful. My uh, goodness. I think his, his sure. commentary when um, Sia Khaleesi took to the field for the first time as yes. our, our captain as well. So many iconic moments. He elevated Tosa in, in, in terms of what the market had in sports. I think in a massive way he had a cultural mark. Um, but I think by his colleagues and, and people who knew him within sport will be massively, massively. Useful. Yeah, absolutely. He also made history as the very first black African to captain the SA Schools, Schools rugby team. side. So a man whose heart Curry is truly Cup winner. In the Curry Cup winner, invested in the game of rugby. And he certainly lived that passion through his voice as he infused that very same passion within all of us as the fans of, of rugby. And we know what rugby has done for this country in no, no small measure what it's done for his country, and he's, he's part of that legacy. So rest in peace, Ntate Kaunda Ndunja, passing away at the age of 38. And condolences, heartfelt condolences and prayers go out to his family, who at this time must be having such an incredibly difficult time dealing with the grief and uh, the sudden loss. Yeah, and hopefully finding just some solace in the, uh, the outpouring of love for this incredible human being. Well, from our side as well, we continue to show that love and we thank you for joining us today. Thank you for a beautiful performance. We will see you bright and early tomorrow morning to do it all over again. Bye, everyone.